let's give this a second to start working and see if it's working correctly. Who knows? One moment, folks. One moment, folks. Testing, testing, testing. I want to see how loud the audio is if I speak at a good volume. Testing, testing. Sorry about this. This is my first time doing this in a while. Hello, hello. Hello. Give me a second, everyone. All none of you. Just a moment. Oh, there is someone here. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Just trying to get the, the audio all set up, make sure we're feeling good about volume. I should be able to see stuff in chat, hopefully if everything's going the way I expect it is. Now let's, let's do this, let's try this out. See how this goes. Uh, is there a place where I can see if anyone is watching? No. Is this working? I quite literally don't know. I don't know how this uh, how this works. But I don't think I'm gonna. It says I've got views, and that might just be how that goes. And I and one went away. Okay. All right. I think I, I see how this is how this works. Okay. Might as well get into it. Hello, anyone, no one, whoever. Um, my name is Connor McGrath. I make video essays and I thought today I would just play some Coltic and have fun with it. It's a very fun game. Alright. It's a spooky game, kind of like a, a boomer shooter I think is what they are normally called. Hello, thank you so much for joining. Uh, we're still clearly figuring some stuff out. If anything's too loud or too quiet, just let me know, please, and I will do my best to fix it. I'm still learning how stream stuff works. Hello! Welcome! Thanks for joining! I Yeah, I, I've played a, a little bit of this game before, but not too much of it. Um, and I'm excited to just get into it with a bit of an audience, you know? You know how it goes. I love the idea of it just being, it's very much a Doom kind of vibe. One person whose game's a bit loud. Okay, here, we'll skip past this little point and I will uh, turn down the volume of stuff. Maybe something like 60. That feels a little bit better. Is that too quiet? Is that good? Alright. Everything looks like it's going pretty well in the stream, I think. So I'm playing on hard because uh, that's the fun way to play this game. And this is one of those fun games where uh, you really are benefited by looking around and. Uh, okay, that's good. Perfect. Glad to hear it. Uh, looking around, trying to find like little secrets. As you can see, I've got a little bit of a, a cool setup here. I've got a green screen going, and uh, but here's the, one of the first little things I know. If you climb up here, you can crouch, 
get around this area and here you go aha secrets got stuck at church bam oh yeah 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 so a lot a lot to this game but I say we just get into it we got some dynamite and I think oh You already threw, thrown one down there. Mom's away. Okay. <laughs> Looks like it took care of, uh... Oh, not everyone, though. Wah! Now I'm feeling like the game audio might be a little bit too quiet. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Maybe somewhere like 70... Oh, trust me, I do love Ultra Kill. I was think I was deciding between streaming this or Ultra Kill tonight, or, or this morning. It is morning for me, uh, and I decided on on Coltic because uh, Ultra Kill is one of those games where there's like such a high skill ceiling, and um, I don't feel like I'm that good at Ultra Kill quite yet. Skyler scratched it out. This religious weirdo has been hovering around in the lobby for nearly ten minutes. He came with the other guy who's meeting with the boss. If I keep typing, maybe he'll think I'm busy and leave me alone. Good work, Gabagas. I, uh, I don't think it worked out for him. Nope, okay. <laughs> it's scrawled in blood. This guy's blood. Okay. So anyone who is, uh, like how many hours of Ultra Kill? I don't know. I, um, I beat everything. I haven't, except for the new update. I've, I've played much more Ultra Kill than I have played this. Um... But I'm not like my uh, my girlfriend's brother knows all these tricks and stuff. P rank minus one, dead drunk two nights ago. <laughs> That's awesome. Good for you. Uh, minus is one of those battles that like I didn't research enough and like I didn't realize all the things you could do. I should have been parrying that battle. I was not at all. So maybe uh, maybe if people keep in, if people enjoy me doing some streaming or recording. Uh, I will do some ultra kill. I also thought I might make kind of a bit more of an edited video where I like play one of these games and just kind of have the best moments so you don't have to sit through like, you know, a stream where it's a little bit longer form and, and less casual, or I guess more casual. But anyway, um, I would totally love to do some ultra kill stuff. In fact, I have a video in the works that uh, includes ultra kill as uh, one of the topics. Yeah! See, this is a fun game about playing creatively, so I'm gonna go get a chair. I'm gonna try to kill this guy with a chair. So, bitch, I missed. Okay. <laughs> uh, second chair. Where do you go? Did he leave? Hey, hello. Where do you go? My bro, you go to the bathroom? I don't think where I. I'm too good. I killed him with my mind. Whoa, ho, ho, nice. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't. Uh, uh, apologies, I'm bad at reading and responding to chat. I have not streamed seriously in a while, um, and so, uh, forgive me. I'm gonna do my best here to make this a fun experience for everyone, but mostly me. Because, uh, I don't know if you know this, my main form of content, the video essays, uh, they take forever, and I do enjoy making them, but it's a serious commitment, and so it's fun to just be like, ah, I'm gonna play a video game. People can watch if they want. I am willing to discuss all kinds of cool horror stuff if anyone has stuff that they are curious about, uh, or, or just interested in talking about. Is your good man. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Where did that guy go? I don't think I killed him, but he sure isn't around anymore. You know, I uh, bet I could get up there on my own. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Uh, what if I did, like, some weird parkour here? I feel like I can maybe even just make it... No, that's not going to happen. Alright, let's play this game normally, not try to be... 
a special little boy about it. What is Bro playing? Bro is playing Cultic. It is a boomer shooter that came out in 2022, kind of styled over, uh, uh, styled like some of the older shooter games that your parents played. If you got those, I don't know your life. Not axe to meet ya. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm also playing poorly. Bro is playing not well, because bro, bro is not a very talented gamer, and also Bro is distracted. I'm bringing this chair with me. Wait a second, I have an idea. I can't believe I didn't think of this before. Whoa. Can't rotate it in my hand. I'll grab this one then. Yeah, yeah. I just want to see how, how, how much I can like sequence break this kind of thing. I feel like it's not going to work super well though. It's not exactly built for this kind of thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> But anyway, thank you for joining and, and seeing what I'm playing. No commitment to stay, but if you'd like to, it's fun. I do know there's another secret. If you jump on top of this door, you can get up here. Bam. I did comment on your video about vampires recommended a move, you a movie called Transfiguration. I've not uh, seen that movie yet, but I will, you know what? I have a horror list on my phone. I will add that. Uh, I will add that right now. It's a movie. When did the movie come out? Transfiguration. And the tag is movie. Okay. Alrighty. Got some more parts, which is good for upgrading shit. I feel like I should probably avoid uh, swearing. The looks of the game is making me jitter in excitement. I'm an artist. Oh, you're an artist. Very cool. Well, this game has got some really interesting art design. It's mostly spooky. But uh, I am not an artist, so I would have a hard time describing why it's so good to you. So stay tuned to see what, uh, what this game really has in store. I like typing on these typewriters as fast as I can. Okay. To whom it may concern, I can no longer be part of this business venture. I put far too much time and money into the acquisition of this property and the updates it needed to be serviceable as a place of business. All of the blood and sweat and for what? For leadership to just sell out and run off with the money? I should have known that all this talk about shrugging off the buyout was just that. Talk. You can consider this my resignation. I'm not going down with this ship. Okay. Oh, 2016. Oh, cool. I will uh, definitely check that out. 2016 is when the movie came out. So this is uh, the place I was trying to get to earlier. I think... Yeah. I think uh, if I'm careful about it, I can probably go around and get past this gate. But see, I don't really want to. I want to fight the people. I'm one of those people who's like, I want to know where all the secret shortcuts are, um, but I also don't really... Uh, uh, I don't really want to follow through with them. I want to know where they are, but then I want to go through regular progression, just because I like getting the intended experience. That's why I tend to play games on normal mode or whatever. Also, I followed Cultic development since the beginning, mainly because of art. I'm a fellow artist, too. Hey, a lot of artists in the chat. This is a good way for you guys to connect if you need to. I don't know how artist collaboration works, but it seems interesting. Ow! Just tanked a shotgun blast. I could do that in real life, though. I'm strong and masculine. Uh, also, one more good movie from 2015 or 2016 is called I'm Not the Serial Killer. Okay, cool. Good to know. Crunchy textures, yeah. Ooh, ah! I'd love to not die. There we go. <laughs> also, I recently celebrated my 21st birthday, which means that um, I could do a, a fun kind of stream, and I won't do it now, because, oh, shit! Because, um, as mentioned, uh, it's morning for me. But I could do a drinking stream, where every time I die, perhaps Ultra Kill, um, Hello, I just subscribed after watching the Quiet Horror video. Thank you, Raccoon Eggs Jr. I appreciate that. Thanks so much for joining the community. We're happy to have you here. I love stuff like this so much more than high-def shooters against Dale. Yeah, I totally agree. I have a really hard time with like a lot of AAA games these days. Yo, I'm 20. Rad. I died! No! No! Okay, that literally might send me back to the beginning because I've just been dicking around. Is that what's going to happen? Oh, not that far to the beginning. All right, well... 
Let's speed back through all this. Was there any information in here that was worth? Happy late birthday. Yes, ultra drinking. So yeah, yeah, yeah. As I was saying, I might do um, an ultra kill stream or something. Uh, ultra drunk, ultra kill. Uh, if you guys want to see that, I will. I will totally make that a thing. That that sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Um, all right, let's get into this. Come on, axe to the head. Yeah. Whoa. See, and this game is fun because you... Whoa, what the fuck? How did a tire get here? Um, well, that worked. Uh, this game is fun because you could go in guns blazing, but that is a surefire way to die. What's your opinion on Doki Doki Literature Club? Also, thank, for, thank you for the happy birthday wishes. Uh, I love it. I love uh, media that uh, pushes the boundaries and uh, is aware of itself and self-referential. Um, so much like, you know, Undertale, Inscription, Amori to maybe a lesser degree, uh, I, I, I love it. I hold it very highly in the horror field. Because I also like um, the fact that Dan Salvato has gone on record as like not really enjoying the visual, hor uh, the visual novel format. Um, Dan Salvato being the, the developer of Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, and so for him to like take a thing that he's not really that invested in and make it... Uh, Make it what he made it. Uh, it's pretty impressive to me as a as a creator. Uh, all right, let's see. Burst fire is pretty fun with this. Uh, stability is handy. We don't have enough for powerful ammunition and custom magazine. I could just save. You know what? I'm actually gonna save my weapon parts and try to upgrade the the rifle weapon I'm about to get in a little bit here. But yes, um, long and short of it, I do enjoy Doki Doki Literature Club a lot. Uh, I've not played it in a while, and in fact, I think I tried to stream it a few years ago when I was st streaming a little bit more regularly on this channel. Um, I would totally be willing to do that again at some point, too. Are there explosives in- oh, oh, oh. Are you explosive barrels or regular barrels? Pretty sure you're regular barrels. But that's an explosive barrel. Whoa! Whoa. Eat, eat! Eat! Blow up! Ah! Okay. <laughs> They, they definitely ate it. They ate blew up. Come on. Got one of them. Alright. Undertale is a good example of sympathy for the monster. Yeah. Gotta go uh, hanging out with a friend. Have fun. Dude, and take care. Yeah, thanks for joining. Enjoy hanging out with your friend. Uh, Undertale, yeah, is a great example of um, taking care of the monster. Uh, I love... It, it took me a while to become aware of, like, RPGs that do have combat options, but, like, they're not the only, like, requirement of, of playthrough. Like, you know, I, I, I'm a really big Pokemon fan. I played that a lot in, like, uh, middle school, probably. And, um, you know, I, I've always been one of those kids who's like, I'm not going to focus on stat changes or anything or whatever. I'm just going to be, like, pure strength. You know, first time I played Dark Souls, I was strength build. Uh, pure strength, pure damage output, no status effects, whatever. Um, and that works okay in Pokemon. Uh, if you're playing by yourself, you know, you, you're, you're doing single player and just... You, you, you get Mewtwo or you get, you know, the legendary of whatever game. And you're like, alright, this is obviously joining my team because it's the god Pokemon of this game. And you just, you kind of... Hey, event. Uh, you're kind of just good from there. However... Uh, when I started playing games like uh, Slay the Spire and whatnot, I got really into like uh, playing the silence. I, I really love Slay the Spire, and I really specifically love playing the silence in Slay the Spire um, with the you know the poison damage and also like the shivs and and whatnot. Um, I was like, oh man, there's actually there's different ways to play these games that I've not been paying attention to. And then you play stuff like Amori, which obviously has a really interesting combat system, which has to do with emotion, even though it's still combat, but Undertale did something that I had not seen before and really got me started. Uh, another really cool game, kind of like Undertale, kind of, it gives me a similar vibe, is the game Off. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure like a lot of people in the community are vaguely aware of this. It's You play as like a baseball player, or you play as a person... Pi it's a really weird game, and you should either play it for yourself or watch an analysis of it, but um, that game also like really makes you think about... like. Uh, not just like whatever s message or story they're trying to tell, but like the medium through which they're telling it. Doing a genocide run after pass. Oh yeah, um, that's the best way to play. Pacifist run and then immediately slide into genocide run. I, I definitely agree. 
Uh, I love DDLC. I'm on my second playthrough, and it's one of my inspirations for picking a visual novel game dev myself. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, if you make any progress on that, feel free to send that my way. Um, I love talking about stuff like that from indie devs, especially if they're indie devs who are uh, more corpses. Um, who are connected to my channel, who subscribe or, or whatnot. Oh, I know this game. It's really weird. Oh, oh, you mean Off. Yeah, Off is a really weird game. Um, I played most of it, and then, you know, it got away from me, and I decided to just watch, I think... I think his name is Sagan Hawks. I used to, I, I watched his um, analysis of it, and uh, it was super intriguing. It was super intriguing. I think someone was working on making a show for that, but it might have fallen into development hell somehow, which sucks. But that 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 tends to happen with these indie things. Okay. <laughs> Alright, no talking for a second while I fucking game. Yoink! Uh! Yoink! Uh! Yoink! Okay, man, I'm bad. I cannot aim with these axes. Die! <laughs> okay. You know what's fun? You know what I just realized? My roommate is not here right now. He's on a, a, on a little spring break vacation trip, so I can actually be as loud as I want. I do live in an apartment building, so I can't be that loud, because I'm not a bad person. But I can be a little loud, because I'm not that good of a person either. Ugh, <laughs> oh, that's not funny. I don't know how long I'll stream for today, just because um, this is my first try, and uh, I really didn't have plans to stream today. I just started messing with my setup and realized it would be fun to try getting into it. But, um, like I was talking about earlier, I can totally see myself doing a, uh, a drunk Ultra Kill stream tonight. Cause, and let me tell you, that stream would not last long. I would get faded quick. Because I am um, not great at Ultra Kill, as, uh, as mentioned before. My brother and I are currently working on a VN Gakuen spin-off for one of my other projects. I beat Elden Ring with 80 strength because I don't enjoy bleed builds. Yeah, Elden Ring um, is one of the games that really actually helped me break uh, my, you know, my, my power building one stat only kind of stuff. Because I've like, I played all the Dark Souls and I, and you know... Bloodborne is my favorite game of all time. I've got that tattoo of it here. Pardon my hairy chest. Um, but when I played Elden Ring and I started, you know, you watch Vati Vidya and, and, and you get into all that because he's, like, crucial for enjoying these games, in, in my opinion. Um, I, uh, I don't even... I think it was either Vati Vidya or it might have even been Maxor, if anyone's familiar with him as a YouTuber. I love Maxor. Um, who said, having magic in that game is basically like having a gun in a world where everyone else has a knife um and so i did like the meteor staff and the 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 gravity rock kind of attack thing and i was like holy shit i should be using magic a lot more um and so in my subsequent like 11 playthroughs of elden ring um i've just gone all over the place um and it's totally worth it you know i really do love a, a pure strength or pure, pure dex build um but i would uh, I'd, I'd give it a shot Speaking of shot, ha! <laughs> I love being a little sniper. But this, eat it. Ooh, that was a perfect throw. That was a perfect toss. I nailed that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Couldn't get into Bloodborne. Great atmosphere, but it just wasn't my thing. I get that. I I do understand that. It's. The hard thing about, you know, loving a game to death is accepting the fact that no matter how much you love it, not everyone will. Um, but I always do say, because, you know, almost every FromSoft game I had to give, like, one or two tries, or, like, one or two restarts before I really got into it, I would definitely say give, give Bloodborne the time it deserves. Uh, Bloodborne was my very first Souls game. I hated and enjoyed it at the same time. Uh, for what reason did you hate it? Was it too hard? Was it too scary? Did you were there just like conflicting elements, game versus story, or or? Hello, chat. Hello, Connor. Hello, Kai. Thank you so much for joining. We're happy to have you here. Max, I love his Metal Gear Rising videos. I actually haven't seen any of his um, Metal Gear. Or is that what that is? M G R R. I think it's Metal Gear. Um, he he his editing. I as someone who has just started editing for YouTube. Oh my god, I can't imagine how much time that takes. Truthfully, like, that dude is so committed. 
Um, and yes, his sense of humor is their sense of humor. Whatever. Uh, fantastic. Love it. Love it, love it. All right. Dude, I am a sniper today. Ooh. Oh! Oh! I'm, ki I'm sorry. I'm killing it. Get me in uh, in fucking Black Ops and I will embarrass myself. But put me in Coltic. I am, I am dead shot from a critically acclaimed Oscar-winning film, uh, Suicide Squad. You guys know that you know Suicide Squad is an uh, Oscar winner for makeup design. Ridiculous. The Oscars are. Controversial opinion, the Oscars are total bullshit. I do not respect or enjoy them at all. I, en I enjoy movies and all that, like, uh, to an incredibly high degree. I don't think the Oscars are valid. It's just mostly money, changing hands. There's not real recognition of talent, in my opinion. It's just kind of an arbitrary analysis. And also, there's a really tacky... Do you like Outlast? I do like Outlast. In fact, I'm about to do a second uh, playthrough of it. Um, his editing is very overstimulating in the best way. It absolutely is. Oscars are a joke, bro. <laughs> Whoa! Kicked everything around. My bad. Um, I do like Outlast a lot. Um, it's got a really great atmosphere, and in fact, I'm currently running a horror-inspired D&D campaign, because I'm a... I'm a... Oh my god, this has got to be a better way to show this off. <laughs> I have D&D tattoos. That's what I was trying to... Sh Why can I not figure this out? Um... But uh, I've, I plan to play Outlast again soon. I'll probably be playing it on my Switch just privately because I feel like the first time I played it like years and years ago, um, I didn't internalize a lot of it. Uh, and I think that I became aware of this when I made my little ranking horror game protagonist by how stupid they are video. And uh, a lot of people got mad at me for um, misrepresenting uh, Miles, who I believe is the protagonist of Outlast, and if I'm not mistaking him for someone else. Uh, I found it frustrating. Oh, about Bloodborne. I found it frustrating, but love the atmosphere, music, and gameplay. My second playthrough is way less fl frustrating. Yeah, that's usually how I get. It's literally one award, get seven free. That's true. One thing that's really frustrating about the Oscars is that whoever's deciding on the categories doesn't actually really know what they're deciding on, because, like, sound design and sound mixing will almost always be like right next to each other in the award ceremony and they will always go to the same film because the academy is like oh this this movie has sound in it uh and and, and they're just like ah anything that has sound in the title of the award is good enough and it's uh, it, or 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 it's like okay the not, the award for best editing goes to the movie that has the most editing, which is how a movie like Bohemian Rhapsody is able to get an editing Oscar. just doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, you, you just feel really energized watching a Max or video. You absolutely do. He, he, he puts cocaine into his videos, I believe. Uh, I don't really watch Oscars or superhero stuff, only know my boy Grandson has a track in it. I do like Grandson. Uh, are we talking about Suicide Squad he's got a track in? Whistleblower is my favorite. Outlast 1 is enjoyable and short. Don't even get me started on the animation awards. Oh, yeah. Pixar and Disney shit. It's all just... It's it's money. It's just money changing hands. And, uh, you know, uh, as a horror fan, that's, that's, that's something I'm super aware of because I feel like the reason the horror industry exists as it does today and, like, horror movies never appear in the Oscars, essentially, um, with, li with, like, rare exception, and it might start changing now that, like, Jordan Peele is, like, really exploding on the scene. I don't know. Um, but, like, y there's just, uh, 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 the, the horror industry is flooded with bullshit that is, that is just, like, Blumhouse is a really, uh, is a really big, um, contributor to the issue where they will take a shitty strip, uh, a shitty script, throw, like, base amount of money at it to get the movie going, and then they will profit, like, $180 million every time. Every time I hear the wowie animation is for kids, we love kids, let's get animation and kids, I want to rip my face off. Just to begin an internet awards show for films run by people who actually care about movies, for real. Totally agree. Uh, hello, Dylan. Welcome. Thanks so much for joining today. I only played Outlast 2, and I really and really liked it because you felt so vulnerable. Didn't rely too much on jump scares. Um, I, uh, 
Outlast 2, I think, has some really good atmosphere and some really interesting ideas, but I do think it falls flat a little bit in, like, its, its long-form storytelling. Like, I feel a little lost playing that game. I don't know specifically why a lot of this shit is happening, and I think... I think there's a video kind of all about this. I don't remember who. It might be purpose, purposeless rabbit holes. And it's, the video is called "Because It's Scary," and it's talking about the issues that Outlast storytelling has. Um, the only superhero media I like is Batman and South Park: The Fractured But Whole. I need to play that. My friend, my friend introduced me to South Park. Not introduced me, but I, like I finally got into watching it um, pretty recently, like this summer. And uh, it's really good. It's 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 a lot funnier than and topical than I expected it to be. Um, but I do need to play that game. And I do like Batman. There's a, there's a lot of superheroes I like, but I just, I feel like the MCU has, like, made some really just derivative and, like, samey movies. And I, I don't, like, I think everyone right now is experiencing superhero fatigue uh, to a degree that, like, I've never seen before. Like, uh, I think most people who are, like, passively into Marvel really, like, when Endgame happened, they got really excited about that, and then there's just been nothing since then. Like, you know, during quarantine, I definitely watched WandaVision, and I thought it was fun, but, like, I've seen, like, the Truman Show, you know? And, and I, I've seen other things that are kind of doing what WandaVision is doing, but better. Uh, South Park is funnier than it has any right to be. It's because the people are, are critical, you know? Sometimes you make a, a an animated adult animation. That's the thing. Adult animation is so hit or miss, and it's almost always a miss. Um, but if you have a critical eye and you're being thoughtful with your jokes, and you're like, you're not just you know saying things to be controversial or to, or like relying on gross out humor. There's there's room for a lot of that good stuff. Uh, the Arkham series is peak. The MCU should have died after Endgame. I, I've not played any of the Arkham games. I own them, but I haven't gotten to it, so I might get to that at some point. And MCU, I, def I, I don't think it could have died because, you know, it's now a multi-billion dollar, like, or at least multi-million dollar Disney corporation, and, like, they're going to keep making money on movies no matter what. But I do think it's time for a change of pace, and I think they're trying that. They're doing, like, a lot of shows and, like, a little bit shorter form content. But the issue is not really with, like, the, the presentation, it's with the content itself and the writing. Um, a lot of uh, Marvel movies seem to be, like, focus grouped to death. Um, and, you know, this is, a, this is a thing that I think is, is very much in, in the public eye right now, is that when you're writing, you know, fiction to any degree, um, the more you try to appeal to everybody, the more you're going to appeal less to anybody, you know? Um, because general audiences... Uh, the audiences that will make the most money are not critical you know the the, the most uh man fucking nailed that headshot um you, uh, across the board you're always going to make the most money off of family movies movies that you're going to have group viewings um if, if you're trying to sell in theaters um and it's why you get really tame stories even in things that don't need to be tame it's why venom became pg-13 it's why we, we don't get to see a real version of Carnage, or, or we don't get to see any interesting kind of, like, violence or, or real, like, thought-provoking stuff. It's always the same cookie-cutter whatever. People are tired of bad superhero movies. Yeah, and you know, you know how I know that it's people tired of bad? Because stuff like Invincible and The Boys are still really popular because they're able to push the limit a little bit. You know? Uh, I call BS on superhero fatigue because of... Oh, Across the Spider-Verse is a great example of, of, of exactly what I'm talking about because there's so much art and, and love that went into that. Across the Spider-Verse, I think, might have been the best movie that I saw last year. It, it, it was incredible. Um, blew me away. So I totally get that. Constant superhero fatigue unless it's animated Spider-Man movies. Yeah. I think, you know, because we can all see while watching that that there's a real a real focus on making that a compelling and thought-provoking experience more than just like let's get as many butts in seats as we can oh my god die Ugh. there we go I'm not playing too bad when I take uh, you know every five minutes to just pause and talk to the screen I guess it helps me refresh and stay uh, stay in the moment of this game you just need to keep letting Disney blow all their movies on terrible movies and Disney Plus shows. The only superhero show I liked was Peacemaker. See, that really surprised me. Because, like, I did like the, um, the, suicide, the Suicide Squad, not the 
no, not Suicide Squad, the, the, the remake, reimagining, whatever thing. Um, I thought that was good, but I really did think that, like, he was probably one of the less compelling characters in that movie. So for the Peacemaker show to be as popular as it became, clearly it did something that I was not as aware of. So I, I will have to look into that. Ooh. I love this gun because you can also just like slam fire if uh, if you're not feeling like aiming. You totally waste bullet bullets. I can only get be uh, behind two comic shows: Lucifer and I Zombie. Vertigo, vertical, vertigo stuff seems to work well on the screen. Uh, I I watched I Zombie a little bit like years and years ago. Is that show still going on, or is it just it it kind of? Uh, uh, it lingered as like a cult classic because I, I don't feel like I hear too much about it these days if it is still going on I will admit I'm probably doing the best on this level because you know I've played this level the most every time I like restart the game because I'm one of those assholes who like if I don't beat a game over the course of like one to three sittings like just back to back to back um, I totally lose track of what's going on and I f need a full restart. Ah! No! No! Okay, <laughs> I was doing so well. Alright. Um, I think it's finished. A lot of seasons. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I love zombies. Conceptually. I feel like, you know, we've, we've gotten a lot of zombie media over the past, like, 10, 20 years. Um... And a lot of it's good, not gonna lie. Like, The, the Walking Dead is, is really well liked, and I know that there's some, some, some shit in that that people uh, probably didn't love, and I have, I am not at all caught up on that show. I think I got to like season three or four, maybe. Um, but, uh, you know, that, uh, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm trying to figure out how to deal with this situation. <laughs> Ooh, slow motion. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Die, 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 die. Ugh. I am playing worse because I referenced the fact that I was playing better. Okay. You guys, you guys ever had that? Oh, JoJo's. You know, my girlfriend just started uh, showing me JoJo's because I had watched it a few times and I was like, what's happening? I don't get this. I This is too much for me. Um, and sudden, and all of a sudden, it just clicked. I was like, "Oh!" Once I understood like what camp was and how to really to define that and to enjoy it, I was like, "I get how to enjoy this. You need to get lost in the wildness of every scene. You need to love characters for how batshit they are." And that's why Dio becomes, you know, your favorite character pretty much immediately. <laughs> the forest is great when it comes to survival horror. I have the forest, I, and I was just now uh, thinking about playing it. That was another game I considered doing like a little test stream for. And I gotta say, I used to stream a lot back in the day, uh, and to have five viewers on any stream used to be a huge deal to me. And so I just want to say again, thank you guys for watching. I know that you could be watching a lot better and more professional streamers probably. Um, and so it's uh, pretty exciting that you guys choose here. Uh, your audio is a wee bit crunchy, point of improvement for future streams. I will do my best to figure that out. As uh, I may have mentioned, uh, I'm still working on figuring this stuff out. I have a, a, a Yeti mic that I upped the decibel on. Um, let me try something. Let me try something real quick. Is that, is this, is this any better doing, doing like that? Did that make it too quiet? I can't really hear it, but um, if, if that's better, let me know. But I will also, I'll look into it. I'll watch this stream and I'll look up some more. It's been a learning process. Can I play the forest with you? I bought it and I have a total of 26 minutes of playtime. Is it a multiplayer game? I, uh, if it is, uh, I might, we can totally figure that out. If, uh, if you're looking to like communicate with me and try to set that stuff up, a good place to do is uh, my Discord, which you can uh, access if you're a member. This is my little advertisement, I guess. Um, for, oh, now you can't hear this at all. Okay, one sec. Is this better? Hello? Testing, testing, testing. I feel like this is probably just the same. Um, well, look, I, I, if it's a little crunchy now, I apologize. I will, uh, I will see what I can do about it in future streams. If I uh, continue doing streams. I imagine I will. They're fun, and they're casual, and I like playing video games, and I might as well do it uh, in front of people. 
Okay. All right. I think this is another checkpoint. Find the hidden supplies. Oh, you. It needs to be even a little bit louder. You guys need to hear. Okay. Um. Let me see what I can do. Oh, yeah. I, I see what happened. Okay. Hold on. Um. Let's try this. Oh. Whoop. How's that? Uh, oh, hold on. All right. Hopefully, I think that that's probably good. <laughs> okay, two to eight players, I think, the forest. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll do a little subscriber stream of the forest where we can have uh, a bunch of people get together and try it out. That could be kind of fun. Uh, I, I feel that that'll probably be, have to be something that gets put on the back burner for a little bit, just because I'm still learning how to put all these kinds of stuff together, and the, um... Is it still too quiet, by the way, guys? I, I hope... I hope not. But if it is, I can, I can hopefully fix that. I don't want it to be too loud, but I'm, I'm, I, I'm not sure. It also could be, the reason it might be too crunchy is because I, you know, my computer is making noise, I don't have anything around my mic. I might try to get some soundproofing or something. Um, but yeah. Whoa! Oh, I just ran in here without paying attention to what was happening. Whoa! Got him. Okay. Honestly, with how quickly we're getting through this level, the, the course of this stream might just be the first level of this game. Because the first level is long. A little game that has nice, good, long levels. Am I still am I still too quiet, guys? I'm sorry, I don't I don't mean to keep asking the same thing, but I uh, just want to make sure. I want people to be able to hear me. And the other thing that I might do is might not even use this... Because the snowball's pretty good for, like, recording... Uh, it's not a snowball. The Yeti's pretty good for recording like video essays and stuff in a controlled environment, but I might just get like a gaming headset and that could probably, that, that'll probably do the job for me better. But except I just, ha I have a weird ass computer that um, has a different audio uh, input and output thing, so I might need to figure that out. I'm not very uh, technologically proficient. As you may have guessed, as anyone may have guessed. All right, where am I going? What am I doing? Pretty sure I'm going this way. Should have rolled. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. Oh god. Oh dear. I probably should not whistle. That's probably not good uh good audio. Nice, dude. I'm killing it. I am the g gamerest gamer to ever game. <laughs> now, there's a crate hanging from a crane up there, and I've never seen that before, and something tells me that there's got to be something in there, right? Right. Okay. Love that. Love finding secrets. I'm a gamer to the max. Uh, you know, let me just check here. Okay, it sounds like uh, you can hear me. Okay, good. I'm not going to keep asking. All right. Uh, okay. Is there a way up there? I bet there is. I, oh, yeah, there is. Oh, man. I'm finding all kinds of secrets. Oh. I just can't get up there because I fuck up. Yeah, man, I'm finding all kinds of secrets. Let's. N that's awesome. Sweet. Don't have the magnum quite yet, but... Gotta keep this lantern with me for if it's too spooky. That's how you roll. Alright, we're making good progress, honestly. Okay, we got this sawed off. Did I already have that? I think I did, and I just uh, haven't been using it. How are we liking the game? I know I've, uh... It's honestly, the better I... The more I talk, the better I play, so... This is a good good way for me to... Oh, shit. I'm not paying attention. Um, 
how's how's this game look? Do we do we enjoy? Uh, are we enjoying it? Would uh would this be something we'd want to return to after the first level or however however far we get? Chat, chat. Is this real? Yo, chat. Oh, that's fun. I don't get to reference chat that often. What's the uh? That it. That's it. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Wait, 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 wait. Don't do anything yet. Wait. Okay. All right. Okay. Get off. Go. Okay. Nice. Bomb. Oh. Never seen Colpig before, just joined the stream because it's you. Ha! Very kind of you. Really, really appreciate that that kind of note. Um, that's that's awesome. But uh, thank you. Yeah! Oh god, I'm gonna die here. This was not a good position to take. Actually, I don't know. It could be okay. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Should I see that going? Uh, have you ever heard of Strobophagia? Phagia? It's a rave horror game. I think you'd find it interesting. Interesting. I will uh, add that to my list. I do. Uh, I do find that interesting. It's probably Strobophagia, right? Strobophagia. Phagia. Is that uh, is that available on uh, Steam, or am I going to have to? Uh, I'm going to go to itch itch.io or something. Working nights after stumbling onto your mag archive video, I listened to it all in a shockingly short period, and yeah, never seen the game before today. Cool, uh, Magnus Archives kicks ass, um, and cool. I'm happy to be introducing this game to people. It's really fun. Uh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. just adding Strobophagia. All right, let's. That's let's the good thing I do really like this part of the game. So the good thing about dying here is I get to try different ways of being a, a little devious boy. A little devious Oh, I've just started Mag Archive. I like it so far. I yeah, it's it is shocking to me that 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 podcast is not more popular, but I honestly I just don't think podcasts are that popular quite yet. It wow. Did I really fuck up that badly? Okay. Oh, great. And then the fire went up I'm just just kill me. Just kill me. Why MS? Okay. <laughs> this is the gameplay you came to see. Me dying a lot. You know? You know? Alright, let's try this again. I could just crack them both in the back of the head, but that's not fun. Up on the table. What about that? There you go! How about that, you motherfuckers? You cult bastards. This game is fun, because quite like a Wolfenstein or Doom, you don't really feel that bad for the enemies you're killing, you know? Nazis, demons, cult members, violent cult members. You know, some, some cult members are victims, and I can understand that. DDLC, Undertale, and Dark Souls have good soundtracks. Absolutely they do, without question. I, uh, I agree wholeheartedly. Are you on fire? Yeah! I love setting them on fire, because I... Mentally unwell. <laughs> that's, that's not true. Not in that sense, at least. Ugh, ugh. Oh my god. Oh man, that's how you fucking be cool and slidey. I any game that you can sprint in but can't slide in is a bad game. Sliding should be a, uh, uh, an action in any action game. Uh, strobop. Strobop. Oh, oh, okay. Um, is on Steam. I follow the development. That's a really cool psychedelic color scheme, and the music is absolutely banging. Cool. You know what? I, I, I'll say this right now. If I, if and when I decide to play that game, I will play it on stream. Because uh, it was recommended on stream, and so I'm going to fall. Uh, I'm going to die, too. Oh, wait. I have healing. I just remembered. Okay. I might be the minority, but I don't feel bad for Sif. That is definitely a minority. Why don't you feel bad? Elaborate. You just like killing dogs? You like big... You you, you heard the Hachiko story, and were like, yeah, that I'm glad that dog fucking w waited his entire life. <laughs> well, what's, what's the logic there? Why don't I just throw a beer bottle at his head? Okay, didn't even hit him in the head. 
Cat. Ah, 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 ah. This is just using. I wonder if I, I bet you know. I don't even have to ask the question because if it's uh, possible, then it's happened. But I wonder how many people have like ever done like a just axe only run of this game where you can't use any of the long range weapons. That's gonna be difficult later game, especially with those like ah ah ah. This is not where I thought I was gonna end up. Um, especially with those later enemies that are like kind of psychic. Oh Jesus! Sorry, shouldn't be using uh, the boy's name in vain. Especially not in this kind of game. Jesus is the boy. Uh, movement is why I sunk an ungodly amount of time into Warframe. Fair, self-defense, yeah. No, it's just that he was an obstacle and he attacked first. I, I do get that, but he attacked first because you stole something from his master's grave. So it would be like, you know, you break into someone's house, their dog starts barking and like trying to bite you, and you shoot their dog like the ATF. And then, you know, when everyone's like, hey, why'd you do, why'd you shoot my dog? You're like, well, the dog was going to hurt me. Um, it's like, yeah, you're, you're kind of right, but you, you're, you, you may be ignoring your part in the situation as well. But in the same breath, it is a fictional dog, so I won't hold it against you. But no, when I fight Sif, I feel bad, especially because they have a you should feel bad animation. Uh, the end of the fight when he starts limping around, there's no reason for him to do that other than to make you feel bad for hurting a dog. <laughs> Uh, and I, I do love that. I, I love that form of manipulation. Uh, no Hachiko. Yeah, someone knew my reference. Let's go. Love that. Um, yeah, to me, Sif feels like just big Hachiko. And also, like, um, I really love, like, the Art Artorias storyline. The idea that, like, he became a martyr for for beating, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Manus, I think. Dude, these... Oh, I'm killing it with these explosive throws today. Um, but it's, it's cool. It's one of those things that he became a martyr for killing Manus, but then when you finally go and do the DLC, you realize that it's not the case and that he died before... or he, he lost himself before that was even possible. And so you get a cool revel revelatory moment where you're like, oh, I actually am the one who killed Manus. But also, you know, you get more context to the Sif fight. You can't spare her. You don't have a choice. Not to beat the game, unfortunately. Um, cause I don't think there's any way to beat the four kings without killing Sif. I think that's specifically why you need to. Oh my god, the headshots I'm pulling off. I'm sorry. I, n I don't mean to keep interrupting myself, but shit. Oh, I thought there's someone in there. Okay, good that you didn't explode. Okay, what? <sighs> You, you guys ever uh, brace yourself for doing actions in a video game that you're doing zero actual physical work in? ATF and Cult Game has me thinking about Waco. If you're interested in Waco and you haven't watched it already, but I bet you have, the Wendigoon video. Um, also, you can't spare her. Uh, for a deep cut, I only know how to go do the... Twi I don't know what that is. Uh, you hated four kings. Uh, why is that? Because you were not doing a strength build? Because that's really the best thing for four kings. Almost made me rage quit. It's one of those fights, you know? It's one of those things. Because they... It's also weird. It's called Four Kings, but you can encounter, I think, like, more than Four Kings because of just the way that everything's coded. Which is, uh... Silly. I love games that fully do that. Ah, oh, I'm gonna die! I need to stop running. Although, sometimes it's the best option. Oh! I, I hit two of them with one shot. Guys, guys. I might be a gamer. <laughs> Minecraft parkour has me... Yeah, no, that's fair. You ever done, like, ice parkour in Minecraft? Where, by the way, if you make ice parkour courses in Minecraft, fuck off. You're a bad person. Um, you're slipping and sliding. You're like, whoa. Uh, uh, just trying to dodge with it. The abyss walkers. Were, oh, oh, 100%. Um, Dark Souls uh, 1 slash remastered will always have, like, a really... Um, uh, we'll always have a huge place in my heart because it was the first one I you know, played and, and beat all the way through. But Dark Souls 3 is so much more fun and interesting with uh, its enemy design. I know not a, a lot of people, or, or some people don't exactly feel that way, and some people actually find it a little bit too derivative of Dark Souls 1. Uh, old NDS game, but I think I ended up on Episodic on iOS. Ah, I'm, I'm unfamiliar with it. NDS. Do I know what that means? 
or am I having a brain fart moment where I'm not putting together an acronym I'm familiar with, or is that a what does that mean? I I pretend to be an expert, but uh, almost every expert you meet is a liar. So says me, and I'm an expert in lying. Try to parse that one, idiots! Ha ha! Paradox. Okay. Um, I'm not calling you guys idiots. I'm calling myself an idiot more than anything, to be honest. Dark Souls 2 is underappreciated, but I understand. Oh, Nintendo Dual Script. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. So, the DS, gotcha. Um, I've never heard it referred to as NDS. I've only heard it as Nintendo DS or, you know, DS. Interesting. Um, the bonfires too far. The ghosts are invincible. Oh, yeah. Fat rolling because of stone armor. Yeah, uh, New Londo is a real bitch. I, I, uh, I tend to leave Four Kings pretty much till the end, and I don't know why. I just, because, like, I, I, I always try to do, um, Bed of Chaos first in the boss list, just because I, I hate Bed of Chaos. Bed of Chaos is absolutely, without a doubt, my least favorite, um, Dark Souls boss. Um, probably across all of the games, just because it's it, it's it's one of the only ones that like I know there might there, there's probably a trick to it, but I just die so much on that boss. Only heard it as NDS like N64. Gotcha. Um, yeah, more intense in Minecraft. Ice boat races. Yeah, yeah. The ice is really interesting in Minecraft. The the di I, by the way, end the mob vote. Just gonna say it. I'm not salty like a lot of people are online, but I do still believe that it's kind of dumb. So I'm just going to say it. End the mob vote. Uh, some people are, are really salty about it, though. If you read the comments on like any of the Minecraft Instagram posts, uh, even the cool ones where it's like, we're introducing new wolf types finally. Everyone's like, end the mob vote! It's like, you guys could just, you guys could, you know, pay attention to other things. But I get it. A lot of people are very passionate about Minecraft and, and just want the development to proceed as normal without, you know, all the other bullshit that uh, that happens when you are on a marketing team. It is a strategy, you know, to keep keep people interested over time by releasing things, you know, episodically. It's 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 why TV shows are able to be successful and and all that good stuff and continue to be successful. Uh, Elden Ring could have done a bed of chaos boss because the actual jump button. That's exactly the case. Exactly. And like, it, it took me a second, but jumping in Elden Ring is awesome. Being able to dodge attacks that are like low to the ground, like any of those like aspect of the, the like the tail, whatever. I love that. I got really into jumping. Um, but Dark Souls, you know, you have to do that little sprint, unsprint kind of... It's bullshit. And also, it's really hard to track where all the limbs of the bed of chaos are. So, you, your I to me, that's a fight where you're pretty much just guaranteed a death, like a few times, unless you get really lucky. Favorite boss that is not a boss is uh, definitely um, the An Orlando run with the archers. I know a lot of people hate that part, and I hated it when I started, but now it's like one of my favorite challenges. I always am like, yes, yeah, I'm, I'm so good, if I'm able to get through it first time. I mean, people still love shows that dump all at once. Netflix is prone to. That is true. That is true. Um, but, you know, I think the thing with that is also that when you dump all at once, you're uh, you're relying on binge culture, which is a thing that's... So it, it's two different kind of strategies, and they're both effective in different ways. Um, but, uh, like, think about, you know, Netflix definitely does that, but Netflix also has, like, a much lower hit rate when it comes to show success. Like, you know, I, I love everything that, like, Mike Flanagan does. So, like, uh, Hunting of Hill House, Midnight Mass, Bly Manor. I didn't watch the, the Midnight Ghost Club or whatever it's called because it seemed a little young for me, but I might try it out because I've heard good things. Um, was that the first level? No, this is just a long-ass first level. Um, but, you know, think about, like, how Last of Us did, uh, yeah, people are for sure being overdramatic. Like, I'm seeing videos like, Minecraft is ruined, but chill, uh, like, chill, but I agree the mob vote is getting annoying. Absolutely. The way mob vote should work is that they should have added the voted mob first. Yeah, I, 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 I get that, but the idea that it's like, yeah, no, that, that's, that, that's fully fair. I, I do forget about the fact that there, there is, a, like, they have things by the way, 
Love that. Love the 2D animation on these things, but like you can still very clearly tell like the perspective that you're getting. Like that's really interesting. You know? That's 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 cool. I don't know if, if that's as interesting to everyone else as me, but I, I forget the fact that in this Minecraft mob vote that they're literally not releasing some of the ones that don't uh, don't get voted, and that that strikes me as a lot uh, crazier of a marketing decision. Like, you already have it. You have the assets. You you've coded it all. Like, I know how much time. Like, I not personally, but like you know, I'm aware of the crunch crisis in the video game industry. Like. I know how much time it takes to make these things. You're saying that you, you know, hopefully paid someone to spend hours, if not days of time, creating these mobs, and then you're just going to put them away, put them on the back burner? That, that does not strike me as hugely intelligent. But then again, I am not a game designer or a marketing person, major, whatever. Uh, marketing major. Can't you tell that I, uh, I've been in college for a long time? <sighs> By the way, uh, I'm taking a semester off of college coming up here soon, uh, and so I'll have more time to be focusing on videos and stuff, and so hopefully we'll get to see some quality, quality increases of stuff. Someone's about to come kill me. What's this say? 40 barrels today, 50 tomorrow, do a good job, more friends. Hmm. Alright, well I know what's coming for me. I'm just gonna clear. Oh, there he is. There's the boy. There's the boy. Here comes the boy. Hi, boy. Welcome. TikTok. I'm not even on TikTok, but I remember that sound. Here comes the boy. Hi, boy. Welcome. Or, or however it goes. <laughs> did I get him? No, I did not. Ow! He fucking threw a. Uh, uh, what do they call those? What are they? A claymore at me. Ah! 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 Ow! Ah! <laughs> Still waiting for Deltarune. Is Deltarune not out? I thought uh, the first two episodes, two chapters or whatnot, uh, came out. Um, that's a pretty good idea, actually. Add a pre-finalized version of each mob so people can spend some time with them and more informed during the actual vote. I like that, too. I like that idea. Let let Give people the chance to experience them in, like, maybe a... Uh, a vacuum type setting so they're not officially in the game yet um like you know you, you you know how you can go to old versions of minecraft and like just fuck around there like have a separate space to to play with them quality increase uh bro your videos are already really good we are not ready thank you that's very kind of you to say um quality increase uh content wise um i hope that in the future i'll be able to start making longer videos you know i'm working with editors now and they make that a lot easier but also like it's it it's hard writing a script that'll that'll take an hour's worth of content um but you know homework and tests and studying and i'm in french right now and i am really bad at learning languages uh, it, it makes it so I really don't have enough time to, to fully devote to these things, so it shall be it shall be good. No, not that audio is <laughs> finally free. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Delta Rune full release. Totally get that. I, I apologize for bringing you back terrible TikTok memories. Uh, uh, Kali-san. My apologies. I never... This is supposed to be a safe space, so uh, if I... You need to have trigger warnings. May break into song that also was popular on TikTok. I, uh... Trigger warnings are an interesting... Not to totally just, like... Riff on my own thoughts, but trigger warnings are really interesting to me because, like, I do partially believe in them, but at the same time, I don't trust them. I, I think the idea that I've seen... I think a lot of other people, like, talked about this other than me, is, like... I totally personally believe in, like, if someone's got an issue with something uh, or, or is very sensitive to an issue, um, then I will go out of my way to try to uh, make it so I don't talk about that issue. But at the same time, it's like a lot of reality doesn't have that, that, that safety net, doesn't have trigger warnings. So it's like, I will do that for you, but the expectation that everyone will do that for you, while maybe they should, it's just not the reality. And so that's that's my little conservative riff don't worry that's not me not conservative um 
uh, remind me, uh, I probably no longer own Minecraft after many years of that email about transferring. Uh, is it a horror game? This is, yeah, this is uh, somewhat of a horror game. It's also a shooter, but it's definitely spooky inspired. Die! Go away! Go away! Um, love I love listening to an essay while I work. Oh, that's very kind of you. I, uh, I really, it's interesting. When I first started making essays, I was like, yeah, everyone's going to pay very much close attention to this, and, you know, that, that's the way I listen to video essays, and I, I get really deeply involved in whatever the concept is. But I've started noticing, like, some people are like, yeah, I put this on as background audio, and I'm into that. If that's, uh, if that's the uh, longer vids, artists rubbing their hands together right now. Um, if you're someone who watches my vids in the background while you're doing other stuff, that's really cool. And I, I am happy that I can just, just be that little voice for you then. Alright, so I got that key. What was that key for again? I can't even go through there. Uh, oh man, it's so dark. I've got a big key light shining in my face, so it's even harder for me to tell what's going on. Uh, not over here. Isn't there... Am I dumb? I think I... Dude, this happens to me all the time. Ah! I s literally saw it and still walked onto it. Um, this happens to me all the time. When I played Resident Evil 8 for the first time, I, uh... Y you guys know that, that, that scene where, like, you're supposed to get behind the gate and then open the gate to let the two people in to get to the house and then the house catches on fire and all that? Um... When I got to that part and I saw the people in the house, they were like, you just need to get to the gate um, and, uh, and and let us in. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I spent the next, like, 20 minutes walking around in circles like, how the fuck do I get past the gate? And I, I just, because uh, if I recall correctly, Resident Evil 8 doesn't have a j jump button. It, whoa! Kind of just more has, like, a climb on stuff button. I might be wrong about that. I don't even remember. Um, but I didn't realize you're supposed to climb up on a, on a box and climb over a wall and then then do stuff in there. It took I th that w that I was actually streaming for that. You can you can probably even still damn it. Uh, you can probably even still find that on my channel maybe. Um, those last twenty minutes I was like literally looking around until I finally got in the house and I was so embarrassed by how long it took me to figure out that very easy thing that I ended the stream and I did not do any more streaming of Resident Evil. Um, but I did play the whole game because it was fun. Resident Evil 7 is the scariest one, you are correct. I did not find Resident Evil 8 that scary personally. Um, however, it wasn't as dog shit a game as a lot of people like to pretend it was. Um, I just, I, I have a, a personal like just enjoyment of that style of gaming. It's also why I'm really, I really, really enjoyed Amnesia the Bunker because it felt a lot more like Resident Evil-esque about like go getting to a room, finding a thing in that room that you can't access, going and finding the thing that you need to access that point, and, you know, so on and so forth, uh, uh, the repeating cycle. Um, I love that. So Resident Evil 8 did enjoy, did not find as scary as Resident Evil 7, which was, the first time I played it, horrifying. Very, very, very well done. Resident Evil 7 is a great game. It's a, my, one of my roommate's favorite games, too. He speedruns it all the time. Not all the time, but he talks about the fact that he speedruns it. He has speedrun it. Speed ran? It, the game, a game not having a jump button was actually wild. On the topic of essays, having a term fight horror is useful. That style of horror does seem far more impactful. Yeah, I, I, I really appreciate that that people seem to understand my point in that video. There are, there are a number of people who I think clearly did not and were very much like, no, you need to watch Terrifier or you need to watch movies where people die screaming to, to be a true horror fan to really, because that's what true horror is. And I was like, well, no. I mean, you are right to a degree, but horror is subjective, you know? To some, like, there are some people genuinely that Finding Nemo is a horror movie for. People with thalassophobia, like, horror is in the eye of the beholder. For you to, So for you to be like, no, quiet horror is not horror at all, is just wrong. So, uh, and a game not having a jump button is wild. I'm one of those ADHD players who's like, I need to keep jumping. I need I need to always be, if, if, if there's a, if I have to talk to a character and I'm not locked into talking to that character the entire time they're talking, I'm just jumping all around them. That's that's how it works. Terrifier is dumb AF. What? Who's recommending that? It's one of those things, you know. It's it's it has a big place in horror because it's it's weird. It's a weird and spooky story. Um, however, it, would I say that? 
I don't think Tor Terrifier is actually doing anything all that interesting. I think some of the design is interesting. Like, Art the Clown is scary enough as a uh, horror character. I get that. He's strikingly, he's got a striking design, black and white. Um, a character who's smiling all the time. By the way, we did it! It only took about an hour. Maybe even a little longer. I think I might do another another level, though, because I'm, I'm enjoying this. Uh... Yeah, yeah, shocker films. Um, they, they are good for doing what they claim to do. They are shocking, generally. And like, and I, I touched on this on another in another video essay. Um, some of the kills in Terrifier are, ge are genuinely unsettling. Like, he fucking takes a hacksaw and he saws a woman in half from, you know, groin to head. And that's not... No one wants that. Um, but it... it, it it, it, as I said in that other video, I've seen people die before. I've, I've, you know, I've seen live leaks that my shitty friends showed me that I, uh, not currently, but when I was in middle school, I had some shitty friends who showed me, you know, death videos. And like, also I've seen hundreds of horror movies and therefore I've seen people die in pretty gruesome ways, plenty. Um, and so, yeah, I can look at Terrifier and be like, yeah, you're good at doing what you want to be doing, which is presenting a, a, an unpleasant experience um but it, it, am i compelled by that do i find that horror to be uh imaginative or or really that um interesting no not at all i i, I think it's it's not lazy but it feels like the first film you make when you learn what a horror movie is you know creepy guy kills a lot of people in scary way you know I really hope Quiet Horror catches on as an actual term in the community. It does a really good job as a name for films like Skinner Rink, etc. Love Skinner Rink. I know it's a contentious movie, and I, I, I think so. Uh, I hope it does too. By the way, I should, I should clarify. I didn't actually come up with the term Quiet Horror. I think a lot of people tend to use other uh, words for it, like atmospheric horror or lo-fi horror or something. But it is, it is already uh, a term which some people use. I just would love for it to become bigger. Um, I think there's something to be said about Gen Z. Sorry, I'm. I should probably just die here because I've not been paying attention. I think there's something to be said about Gen Z not being as spooked by gore and slashers because we're so desensitized by the internet. That's exactly what I'm saying. I've seen these things on the internet. So, so what? So, so what am I supposed to get out of it that I haven't? That, that's interesting to me. People dying is scary because if I died, I would feel bad about it while it was happening, probably. Uh, but oh well. Um, hello, hi, thank you. Sorry. Uh, I want to say Reem, Ream, Reem, um, thank you so much for joining. I'm, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name in one of those attempts, but I really appreciate you being here. Uh, unsettling horror is far more effective for us than blood and guts and death. I agree. I like being unsettled because being unsettled is very much more in, it, it just naturally is in the brain more than it is in like the chemicals, the heart, like a jump scare, ah, you get a little adrenaline boost, you get a jump, you know, and some people like that. And I like that sometimes too. But being unsettled is is you have to trust your brain to scare you, and I know I really just feel like I'm reiterating all the points I made in that one video. But it, it is something I really believe in that um, the best horror that you're gonna be able to find is the horror that you make up yourself, and you don't need to be a, a horror writer to find that. You just need to be someone who experiences fear and uh, knows the feeling of that fear well enough to to define uh, to to point where it's coming from. Nice, it's okay. Cool. Glad it. Glad, glad we're here. Slow burn, quiet horror just sits with you. If uh, in a gore, in it was a gore fest. When a gore fest doesn't. Yeah. 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 And um, the the th and I think the reason I titled that that video I want more quiet horror is because there really is. Th there's a lot of great horror out there, and there's a lot of low budget horror, and there's a lot of horror that doesn't rely on jump scares. But there, I, I there isn't too much horror that is specifically like quiet that like goes out of its way to to create a subdued experience and that's why skin and was like the big crux of that video for me um because because that movie and like there's loud parts in that movie because you know the tv turning on the kids uh screaming ah fuck i just killed myself i'm gonna do that um and they don't even scream that much to be honest there, there's like it's more of like an after effect scream when her face is all fucked up. I think being uncomfy, unsure leads more effectively to being unscared. Yeah. Well, cause, cause think about this when you're out in public 
or you know, in a hypothetical situation where you're out in public, uh, uh, and it, you saw someone just like get stabbed, you'd be like, oh, that's bad. But like, you know, you run away, whatever. Um, but think about like the feeling you get in public when someone just starts yelling and like you're not sure what they're yelling about or you see like just a group of people run in one direction i think that's that that like gets in your head so much uh uh so much quicker because immediately you're like what is the threat is there a shooting happening is this some prank like reality is terrifying enough on its own that if i point out an objective horror of reality you can be like okay definitively i see the fear of that and can move on from there but because reality is so horrifying, if I just say, there's something going on, the first thing that every, in everyone's head, the first thing that's going to appear to them is the thing they m- least want to be going on right now. So, like, if you're in a mall and a bunch of people start screaming, immediately you're like, oh, shit, there's a massacre happening. And and I, I don't mean to bring the, the vibe down, but um, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, uh, I, I, I don't mean to bring the vibe down, but, like, that's what happens you, you, when when you don't know what's going on. You assume the worst, and that that can be a really great way to to pull horror out of you to to bring that new experience out. And some filmmakers love to be like, "Here's what I'm afraid of, and I'm going to try to make you afraid of it." And other horror uh, filmmakers like to be like, "Here's a situation. Tell me if it's scary. Try to try to feel scary." It's like the first episode of Salad Fingers or even Cream by David Firth where nothing explicit happens, but you're still spooked. Totally. Totally, totally. That That's a great way of putting it. I need to go back and do Salad Fingers again, because I, I did watch the whole thing, and I think I remember most of it. I watched, like, theory videos about of it, uh, about it. But again, it's been, like, four or five, maybe even six years since I've really gotten into Salad Fingers. And it's, like, that that is a internet horror, like... Um, that's, like, Hall of Fame. That, that That's the forefathers of, of the of the space one of the forefathers i always I, I always think of like don't hug me i'm scared pet scop salad fingers uh what else and like you know not not everyone got specifically into this brand of internet horror but like also everyman hybrid um marble hornets uh what were the other ones there was there's another one i'm thinking of everyman hybrid Marble Hornets. I feel like both of those were more Slender Manny. There's something about rabbits, but that actually might have still been Everyman Hybrid. Now that I think about it, there's a lot going on. South Fingers actually made me so uncomfortable in my first watch. Such a good series. I I agree. It's the voice acting for one thing. Um, very ahead of its time. I had my doubts about whether it was worth the time and effort to fix up this old ship and make it seaworthy again. But with the local police keeping a close eye on our truck movements now, the ship is now invaluable to us. We can move larger quantities of supplies without any fear of random inspections or drawing the attention of the locals. Access to the cove is secluded, far from any major bridges or crossings, and the inclusion of some legitimate freight creates extra currency. If we can just get this damn staircase set up without it collapsing, everything will be perfect. (coughs) Pardon me. A weird Jeff the Killer fangirl. To be honest, so was I kind of a little bit. I had, like, a lot of Jeff the Killer art on my phone, or on my iPod at the time, I guess. Um, and, and I, I found him so scary. And then if you go, if you go back and reread the original Jeff the Killer creepypasta, it's not great. It clearly was written by, like, a younger author who is kind of breaking into internet horror. And, like, power to him. Je- and, uh, like, no disrespect, Jeff the Killer is iconic. But, um, it's not, it's not the greatest horror a- after you finally, you know, look at it through a, a, a slightly older lens. So now you show me a person with their guts out. I'm like, okay, bye, bye. Thanks for coming, Raccoon Eggs. It was really fun. Raccoon Eggs Jr., his son. Um, <laughs> Solid Fingers was some classic unsettling horror. I remember watching it on release as a teen. Uh, yeah, but no, it, totally the point you're making is, you know, Jeff the Killer, for as, a, as you know, as... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not naive, not childish, but just like... Uh, simple, sim- simplified maybe, uh, by the books, whatever. Uh, for whatever you want to call it, it did discuss violence, you know, a lot. And, like, if you read, and that's not, it's not just Jeff the Killer, if you read Jeff, uh, if you read Jeff the Killer, you almost certainly read, like, Eyeless Jack, or, um, 
uh, what was the clown one? I always remember the clown one. Where I, I don't remember what the clown one was, but it was like, oh, my son had an imaginary friend who was a clown, and then the clown killed him, my son, and took his guts out or whatever. Uh, or Smile Dog, or j you, I don't know, you read any of the creepypastas, you very quickly start to be like, oh yeah, people die, and sometimes they die grittily, uh, and you don't see it, you know, depending on the creepypasta you're reading, but, you know? it's the exposure, the, the awareness that, like, yeah, dying is scary, but that's the first thing that a lot of people are going to come up with. Uh, do you know anyone who dies in a horror movie? Do you know anyone who dies in a horror movie is a good person? I don't know if that's a question or if you're telling me that. I actually, I, I think there are several people who die in horror movies who are good people. I, I, I think frequently they kill a good person first to show you the evil of the killer, and then they go to um, killing shitheads. Like, usually the first victim in any slasher movie is just, like, some hapless example character. You get maybe five to ten minutes of screen time. Um... And then they're killed, like, arbitrarily. Like, like in any, like, SV... Like, the, the SV is not horror, but it's, like, a similar format. Like, uh, in any, like, procedural crime show, they always show, like, the random guy who's like, All right, guys, I'll see you down at the baseball stadium tomorrow. Have a good night. And you're like, that guy's not evil. And then he dies, and you're like, okay. It was just a setup. Um, I feel like that's how a lot of slashes go. Um, honestly, the creepypasta shipping scene is such a staple of internet culture. I can't help but love it. I do love that. Like, and you know, Jeff the Killer and then Jane the Killer, of course, because they need to have, they need to girlyify <laughs> Jeff the Killer. It, that that's, ugh, I love it, dude. You, you see any big like horror figure appeal, or like a big male masculine horror figure appear, who is like like Slenderman, for instance, and inevitably someone's like, but what if? They had a girlfriend who was just them, but a girl. <laughs> you know? It's like when when you look at cartoons and like the 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 kids of a couple just like look like smaller versions of those those uh, characters. It's not a lot of creativity when it comes to some of those shipping things, but it is still funny. The fucking smile dog image is still scary to me. It's it's unsettling, and you know why? Because it leaves it leaves a lot to your informa uh, a, a lot to your imagination. Like obviously, we're aware of what the photo is supposed to entail by reading like the attached creepypasta. But um, at the same time, like the it's a grainy ass photo. There's clearly like a hand reaching for some reason, and that's you know equally uh, part of the story. Um, but you know, it, it's a it's another reason why I think subtle or quiet horror is so good, um, because uh, sometimes you don't have the budget or the the you know the know how the techni the time to like create a horrifying monster or situation that like you can visually show, um, and so sometimes it, it, it's actually just easier to be like here's all we know about the situation and the implication is that there's a lot of crazy shit that happens because of it but you're only seeing this little thing which leaves room to the imagination and uh that that allows you you know it's just the same thing it allows your imagination to take over have i ever watched who wants to gnaw on human bones no uh is that a movie uh or is that a youtube video or whatnot Non-human. Oh, so this is a known thing. Okay, I don't know what this is. Um, that's crazy. Yeah, uh, tell me more. I, I'm curious. I have not even heard of that before. I always... It's a mixed bag having one of those reactions um, where you... You know, I, I pride myself on being uh, a little, uh, pretty well versed in horror. But every time I say that, I immediately think like, "How many horror things do I not know that are that I'm sh I'm expected to know?" Uh, Non-human bones is a work of art. As a Twelve-year-old, I was so scared by it. It's a YouTube video. I was mostly entranced by it. It's just so surreal. Okay, cool. I'll go ahead and add that to my little horror list. It's it's called just Who Wants to, or is it just called Naw? Who wants to gnaw on human bones? Okay. Who wants to gnaw human bones? Is it like a short film, or is it like literally just one of those um, one of those videos that's just weird on YouTube that you can just kind of find? 
because I know people make like really good short horror films um, on YouTube. The one that I really like is um, Portrait of God. I think it's called. It's just a blorbo moving around unsettling music, but the title just makes you wonder. Huh? Nice evil because she said, "If I don't eat my veggies, I will die." <laughs> I don't know necessarily who you're talking about there, but if you don't eat veggies, actually you will die. It, it's necessary. It's a necessary part of your nutrition. If not that, at least a dietary supplement is. But um, I don't. It's not like you'll die. Uh, it's just a dude in a white costume jumping around with some weird ass music in the background, and it's beautiful. Okay, hold on. Is there? Hold on. I am still trying to figure out um, stream stuff. Could I watch that on stream? Could I do? Do I think I could? How do I do that? Let me try something. Let me try something. See if I can make this work. Um, let's go to my game capture, and we'll do capture specific window. And it doesn't look like that's gonna work. And it's, let's do uh, capture. Nope. Oh. 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 Okay. Whoop. Um. Okay. Can I not do it here? Will it not let me do it here? I don't know. Let me do Steam. There's cold take. Uh, hold on. Let me try something. I'm really bad about, uh, I bet I, I can just do display cache. Oh, hey, what about that? What about that? What about that? <laughs> okay, and then, uh, sorry, sorry. Fit to screen. Okay, we'll do it like that. Someone else knowing uh, Portrait of God in the chat. Hell yeah. Watch party. I think I kind of made it work here. Um, so let's see. It's called Who Wants to Gnaw on Human Bones? Also, YouTube check, YouTube check, Danny Gonzalez, Mr. GG, Wendigoon, Jacob Geller. I also have like a lot of dreamscapes because I put those on while I'm DMing. Love that. You can see a few more here. Brian David Gilbert. There's my brother. Subscribe to my brother if you want. Uh, all right. Um, what am I looking up? Non, who wants to gnaw on human bones? Here, let me um, let me turn the cultic music down, just so I can see what's going on here. Du, 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 du. Okay, it's just this first one. YouTube Premium win. Yeah, look, I gotta, I gotta. I hate ads. I'm sorry. Okay, so I think it's this. Who wants to? What the hell am I watching, guys? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was... Uh, let's... Let's do uh, another... Here, Alon. I'm gonna do something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry, shouldn't say that. Um Wow. <laughs> what? What is that? Oh, can, can, can you not hear the audio? Can you guys not hear the audio? Shit! Um, one sec. Hold on. I got this. I got this. Hold on. Uh, hold on. <laughs> uh, okay. Can you hear this? Oh jeez, that's that's so fun. Oh, you still can't hear it? No, 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 no. That's not what you want. Wow, <laughs> I, I don't. 
understand that at all. I <laughs> hold on. I I there's got to be a way that uh, I can make it so we can hear this better. Uh, I don't. I maybe I can't. Um. Okay. That's that's just fantastic. That's fantastic. Um. Okay. <laughs> crazy dancing to nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure I did. Um. I don't know why. I am not a professional. I apologize, folks. What about this? Let's try it one more time. You guys want to dance one more time? It's dance time. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I'm sweating. I it's it is cold out. It is 22 degrees out. My window's closed. That was hot. <laughs> Jeez, that video. God, you still can't hear it. Still cannot hear it at all. Hilarious. Oh, probably because I turned my desk. I'm so dumb, guys. It, I'm so dumb, guys. I got this. I got this. I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Um. Here we go. I got this. Here we go. Don't worry. I want to make it so we can hear this. <laughs> it's important to me now that we all are able to dance together. We're going to try. Here we go. Here's our attempt. Go. I got this. Here we go. Don't worry. Hold on, hold on. I'm continue. watching to see if this even works. It's important to me now that we all are Hold able on. to dance together. Hold on. I know it's funny without the sound, but I need try. to see it. Here we go. Here's our attempt. Oh, now it's working with sound. Now we can hear it. You guys want to, you guys want to, you guys want to hear, yeah. you want to dance? You guys ready to dance? It's dance time. Wait, hold on. We're going to do this, <laughs> do this differently now. All right. I'm so glad we're watching this video. <laughs> I don't know how to dance at all. Honestly, this this version at, at 0.25 speed is the most horrifying version of this. I need some water. I'm exercising at my desk. Don't worry, we'll do a fast version after this. Honestly, it, watching this at this speed at night might actually be unsettling. Alright, 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 enough of this. We're doing a fast dance now. It's time. Now that everyone can hear it. <laughs> I, I'm gonna die. I, I, I'm going to pass out of a heart attack or a curse that this video has put on me if I keep watching it. So I'm only gonna watch it one more time. Jesus, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this is one of my new favorite videos. Really appreciate that. A little like on that. <laughs> Jeez.
Jeez, I'm actually hot. I'm sweating. <sighs> Fantastic. Love the Blorbo. What are the comments on this looking like? This is scary. Is he okay? 2020, welcome to downtown Coolsville. <laughs> no, buddy. Oompa Loompas after a kid dies brutally. Huh. This is fantastic. All right, I can't possibly describe how yellow this song is. Whatever that means. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Little, uh, little break away from Cultic just to try things out. Thanks for going on that journey with me. Let's, uh, let's get back to it. Is this still gonna make sound? Oh right, I turned the, I turned the audio off. Ba 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 na ba ba ba. Oh, I just know that I'm gonna have that fucking song stuck in my head all day now. Ba 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 Love that. Did I can't believe I didn't know about that. Fantastic. Fantastic. Every, uh, can everyone hear everything all right? Uh, I just know that I'm going to have that. Yeah, all right, looks good. I'm going to I'm going to have to go back to the stream and find just the part where we were listening to that to to post that around because I'm very glad that I was able to have that experience with you guys. This is the best part of being a famous YouTuber. Is that uh, I have subscribers who can show me weird shit now. Die! Die! Yeah! Karate! Karate with an axe. Famously uh, fighting style where you fight with weapons. Okay. I guess you do. Or is that... No, Taekwondo you use a sword. Depending on where you are in Taekwondo. It doesn't matter. I managed to get my foot in the door of one of these meetings that Mr. Sullivan mentioned. <laughs> Turned out an old friend working for the city also attends them. I went to one meeting, and from the look of it, you'd think it's just a book club. Coffee, donuts, a ring of chairs, you get the idea. But then this older guy stands up and starts giving us newbies this wild pitch. Some snake oil routine about how we can attain money, power, whatever we want. Sounds like some kind of pyramid scheme. I don't think there's anything here. Hmm. <clears throat> that feels pretty culty. I wonder what this game is called. Bum, 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 bum. Very sad. I don't really have a Germa face. Sus. I can't do the sus. Clown to clown communication. Clown to clown conversation. <laughs> I have 20 birds. When I give them food, they say, ooh. They do. I imagine. I don't have any. I have zero birds myself, but birds do be going ooh. They coo and, and shit. You cooler than me. That's what that's that's how birds uh, compliment each other. You got designer shaces to hide your faces. You wear them around like you're cooler than me. That's so not funny. I'm so glad that I'm putting that out on the internet so people can hear it because it's not good. It represents me poorly. Man, I'm just I am killing it on ammo. I don't. I feel like I don't usually have this much ammo. Also, I totally walked past that like gun upgrading station um but oh well it just means we'll hopefully have more upgrades when we need them okay pretty sure there's a bad guy in there uh-huh 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 do you have any pets birds not allowed i don't know why birds are not allowed but no i don't have any birds um uh, I live in an apartment, so currently I do not have any pets. Um, growing up, and at, I guess at my parents' house, um, I have two dogs, two mini Australian Shepherds. Their names are Maybe and Bailey. Maybe is spelled M-A-E-B-E. -E. I don't know why that's her name. It's just what my, my parents chose. It's probably from something. They're pretty referential. Uh, when I was growing up, I had a golden uh, Labrador named Fenway. That didn't work! Um named Fenway after uh, Fenway Park in Boston because uh, my my dad is a big Boston fan. Which is also why my family likes the Patriots, which is another reason I might get canceled. Not another reason. I don't, honestly, and this is, this is playing with fire. I don't think I have anything I could be canceled over, which is good. You, you, 
it, it if you if you go into YouTube being like, yeah, I've got a few things, then you're kind of doomed. But you know, people want to cancel me over being a uh, a Patriots fan by proxy. I guess you can, but you know, feels kind of not worth the time. I feel like this vent I could probably do something with, but oh well. Got to get to class, but I'm glad I stopped. I stopped. Dropped. Ah, that's why I hope Chad has more epic videos to show. Well, have a good day, Mr. Famous YouTuber. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate you being here. Um, stop by the next one if you're interested. Have a good one. Uh, I have a cat named Dorito Flaming Hot 2019. Is 2019 part of the name, or is that when you got the cat? Dorito Flaming Hot 2019. Uh, that's that's that is a cat name. You couldn't name a dog that, but you could name a cat that, and I I respect. I respect that. Uh, what am I doing? Where am I going? How am I? Why am I alive? Why are we still here? Just to suffer. I've always said that. They stole that from me in whatever game that's from. Reward is being offered for anyone who is able to locate the extra copy of the bridge key. One is in our possession, but the former ship captain had a set as well. It is one of the up it is of the utmost importance that this key be located, as the security of our operation is in jeopardy until it is found. We suspect the captain likely hid below deck when we commandeered the vessel, so any interested parties should start there. Cool. I am not going to listen to anyone. I am going to Massacre the boys. Pow! Whoop! Pow! Whoop! Uh, pow! Whoop! Pow! I am killing it. Uh, I should not say I'm killing it. Okay. So there's a key in there. That's. There's probably another. Is there a way to get in here? If I crouch and like did a little. Whoop! Don't think so. My bird know what I say when you say you want food, he will say yes please. I'm a bird, I need food to survival, you human should call 911. Huh? Should I call 911? <laughs> should I call 911? I don't think so. If, as long as it's a bird that normally talks, if it's a bird that doesn't talk, if you got a pigeon that's talking to you, that might be cause for concern. Oh, oh, I see. There's a shortcut that I could have taken. Good to know, good to know. Alright, where am I going to go first? Over there. He's a major leap diver. Here he goes. And, absolutely spectacular. A perfect dive. 10 out of 10. He's going home with a gold medal for sure. Now 2019 is part of the name I got her in 2021. That's perfect. That's fantastic. I would not have it any other way. Um, Dorito... Flaming Hot 2019 appreciation uh, in the chat, please, guys. Thanks so much. Uh, <laughs> oh no, I'm getting shot, but I switched to look at something real quick. Oh no, fuck. Go away. Don't. Ah. Okay. Nope, nope. I'm gonna die because I'm bad at video games. Okay. How you shoot it? Okay, rent on me this, people who know about guns, because I do not. Can you shoot a gun underwater? Like that. I mean, you definitely can't swing an axe as hard as I was swinging it underwater either. So, like, I, it's a video game, and I'll give it that. But I don't think you can shoot a gun. You got your birds in 2010? What kind of birds are they? What are they, uh... Are, are they... What? Parrots? Are parrots... Th no. What? What's the bird that can talk? Can multiple birds talk? I don't know. I, I'm not a bird expert. Whoop. 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 Too f too short. Too short. That's what people used to say about me before I had my growth spurt. Which uh, a lot of people don't believe me about, but is a real thing. I used to be very short um, when I was, you know, little. But now I am 6'2", uh, potentially 6'3". I don't... I have not checked. Got your birds in 2009. I thought you got your birds in 2010. So what does... So what's happening? What is the truth? You lying to me? Are you lying on my stream? Almost all species of parrot can talk, and corvids can talk as well. Parrots and parrot legs. Okay, cool. Everyone's responding right all at the same time, and I appreciate that. Um, yeah, not. A, I don't know too much about birds. T Tbh. 
But, uh, cool. Oh, so you're saying ravens can talk? Like, I could teach, if I got a pet raven, I could teach it to say nevermore? Because that's awesome. Because uh, I'm going to do that. If <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I don't know. I don't know. The first thing about taking care of birds, and I don't quite have the time to learn right now. Clearly, as I sit here playing a video game in front of seven people. Ah! No! Ooh, you see that? I shot that fucking shit out of the air. I am cursing a lot. This is a thing about me. You maybe notice it less in my videos, but I curse a lot in my day-to-day -day life. So apologies if that offends you, but, you know, then again, you're on a horror channel, so I feel like you're probably not... Ah! Not too worried about that kind of stuff. Now I got my... And... Yeah, kind of... Wow! I would love to, to train a raven to say nevermore, because I'm a horror guy, and Edgar Allan Poe, and... Oh, you're fucking kidding me, really? Oh, that's on... I can't believe this. Okay, time for you... I, time for me to really put on gamer mode to get back to where I was. Ugh, gamer mode! Let me light this Molotov under the water! Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay. Wow, gamer mode's not going well, folks. Hate to tell you this. How do I... Oh, okay. You see, I don't think you can do that. I don't think guns work that way. I just threw them all tough. That was really smart of me. Um, I don't think guns work that way. But then again, I'm not Wendigoon. Crows in Japan sound like old people screaming. That's funny. Or horrifying, depending on uh, the context. It's, it's funny, um, some foxes and wildcats also sound like screaming, but like, they can sound like young, young women screaming. And there's, uh, back when I was still growing up uh, in my parents' house, um, one time I was out skateboarding late at night, and I heard what sounded like a young girl screaming, and I skated towards it, and I was like, I don't know why I skated towards it, like, I probably, I was not old enough to really do anything about it, I would have died if there was actual danger, but, um, it was a fox. It was a fox, and I thought it was a little girl. And that was an interesting uh, realization to make. A bird in 2009 and a little bird in 2010. I see it's both. You can have it both ways. Man, I was doing so well, too. I didn't realize it was going to send me that far back, so now I've, I've really got to try not to die. I just played the game Paratopic recently. That game was not what I expected it to be. Have any of you guys uh, played that? Because it was weird. Luckily, I remember enemy placements pretty well, so... Bam. Okay. Ah! Ah! Okay, uh, can I bring anything? What can I do about this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can't I? Oh, shit, that might be an upgrade I get later. Or is it? Come on. Really? Alright, fuck. I'm just wasting ammo at this point. Alright, enough of that. Enough of that. Alright, I have a lot of shotgun bullets, so I'm just gonna kinda go uh, Rambo on this shit. Or maybe Doom would be better. Uh, as, as a descriptor. There's a folktale in some parts of... Le Tom? Le Tom? Uh, that's called El Sirbon. I probably said that wrong. Uh, who's basically like a wraith who whistles while he's hunting. And there's some birds who sound like human whistling. Hmm. I wonder if that's one of those situations where people heard the bird first and then attributed it, attributed it to a spirit. Or if it's one of those things where the spirit hunts because it knows how that bird sounds. Something like that. Either one of those would be pretty interesting to me. My bird is watching your video. Say hello to Coco the bird. Hello, Coco. Thank you. Uh, hi, Coco. I, I don't know if how, how you're supposed to talk to a bird. Hey, Pippi. Oh, no, 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 no. Pippi, Pippi, Coco, bird. Oh, my, my. <laughs> uh, 
Latin America. Gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Good. Good to know. Okay. Lat um, Latin America. Gotcha. Didn't know that. But very cool. That's interesting. I feel like I've heard of a, a another... I wonder if this is the same thing. I heard of a creature that uh, hunts with like a kind of song or maybe it's a whistle or something along those lines, but... Uh, the further away from it, from you that you hear the whistling or, or the song or whatnot, the closer it is to getting you. And that might be the Wendigo that I'm thinking of. Apologies for saying it out loud. That might be the, the, the Native American spirit that Wendigoon is named after. Um, that uh, is that, but it might be something else. And I wonder if it's that thing you're talking about. The, what was it called? El Cibon. That could be interesting. All right, some first day. There we go. Now I remember what's in here, so let's just die. Oh man, I've got I hurt myself for attention. Just kidding. That that's a fucked up joke to make. I probably shouldn't. Um. He said, "I love you." <laughs> Kiss my phone. Ah, nice. Thanks, Coco. Appreciate the support. There we go. I swear that it's from an analog horror series. Oh, is it? That's interesting. Or the thing that I described, or the the or El Sabon. All right, come on. Let's not die here. Let's do the smarter, better, gooder, better, hotter, wetter, wilder, spicier, better. And better. Yeah! Come on, that's gotta be it. That felt good. Nice. All right. We're pretty much back where we were. Let's just not die again. All right. Bum, 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 bum. It's nice to stream on the computer. I used to only stream on the PlayStation and not super high quality, just with like the basic, you know, PlayStation streaming accessories. Uh, the thing you described, Analog Horror, about camping with puppets. Hmm. Do you remember what that was called? Because that sounds interesting. I'm always looking for a new uh, Analog Horror. Hello to you and hi, friends. I'm sorry, camping with puppets. That reminds me, that feels like an episode of Community. Um, you know that episode where they all take drugs and go in a hot air balloon and then admit a bunch of embarrassing shit to each other in the woods? If you guys ever watch Community? Which, if you haven't, you should. It's a, it's a hilarious show. If you like Rick and Morty, you'll like it too, because it's uh, made by Dan Harmon. The horror thing had puppets. It was about camping safety. I remember... I think I saw a, a, a found footage horror series that was about two like forest rangers talking about some weird things that lived in the forest about them and kind of like safety videos is it is that what i'm thinking of or was everyone a puppet really forgetting the name sorry no worries about that it happens but i i'm sure i can find it based off of just that description probably um that sounds interesting Try to blow me up. I'll blow you up. Or fail to, probably. Yep. No, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I don't think I got my checkpoint yet. Uh, oh, man. All kinds of uh, uh, acronyms in this chat that I'm not familiar with. The episode where... Oh, Amazing World of Gumball. Where Darwin le learns about safety from a fucked up bear. Oh, yeah. I do know what you're talking about there. I'm getting shot at again. Um, I know what you're talking about there, and that is uh, pretty unsettling. And it, it, I think, uh, the Amazing World of Gumball has always been really good about like hitting those like topical cultural things. Are you fucking serious? Okay. Um, I guess I gotta find a way to get back there. Uh, uh, and yeah, like the that episode is specifically good. It's about fascism, ironically, um, but just through the guise of like a children's uh, children's. Uh, PSA. I swear that's where the whistling thing is from. Is that? 
Is that where it's from? It, it totally might be. Huh. I remember so many parts of that where he's like, oh, oh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I kind of remember what's happening here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay. That guy was really like, yeah, I'll watch all my friends die first. The location seems promising. The archives. Archives? Uh, <laughs> and journals from the original Willbound Cov covenant have turned out to be a quite reliable source of information while several sites were recorded this one shows the most potential it is isolated and access was easily granted by a couple of property acquisitions excavation should be able to begin immediately and with the use of a nearby anthracite mine we won't even have to worry about turning heads when we break ground hmm what are they trying to do so that's where the listening thing is from okay this room okay get it okay the music cut out I like that I don't always play this game with music because sometimes I'm listening to a podcast or watching a video alongside it because because I am ADHD and you know how you know how that goes um, can't break it with a fist okay But it's fun to hear the music. The showers. You feeling dirty? <sighs> nice. Very relaxing. Hey, someone dropped the soap. <laughs> I'm just bringing bubbles with me wherever I go now. Can I clean shit? Mm. All right, I just fully stop playing and I just try to clean everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is this power wash simulator? Nice. Okay. So just in case I need to get back into the showers, I guess. Yeah, music just turns off when you're crawling through vents, I guess. That's interesting. So this is the stay away sign, gotcha. Oh wait, thought I saw a secret, but I don't think so. Uh, we're talking about cults. Do you ever hear about Kanye Quest 3000? I did, and that's that's super interesting uh, to me. I don't understand it. I don't understand a lot of those kinds of things. But um, no, I, I am aware of that weird phenomenon. It was supposed to be a recruitment tool, wasn't it? Or, or it's talking about some kind of cult and you can like access it in that weird like little computer area. It's one of those things, I think. You guys ever played Cruelty Squad? I would love to play Cruelty Squad on stream because that game is fucking bonkers. Whoa, 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 no. Okay, that was actually really close. I'm actually so nervous because I am at very low health. body shots not exactly what I oh ascensionism yeah 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 uh, no god I really don't want to die right now because <laughs> I don't I don't th oh I got a checkpoint reached still don't want to die but I, I won't get thrown all the way up to the back or to the beginning another vent just trying to find that key now, I think. Uh huh. Oh. So you can only use this gun. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, no, um, I, I, I have to look back at the Kanye quest thing. I haven't, uh, checked. Say hi to the moon. Hi to moon the bird. Ascensionism is a fake cult created by a musician for a project she had in band camp. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. You know, that reminds me of the artist Begotten, who I, who I really enjoy. You can find them on YouTube. Um, Kanye Quest is not related to the musician. So it was referring to a cult that maybe the creator thought was real, but was just for this uh, music producer. 
That's interesting. That is interesting. I don't know. I, I have not heard that that detail. What's going on? Okay. This feels <laughs> okay. Gross. Nice. Ah, oh, what? What happened? Oh, oh, it's one of these guys. Okay. Where is he? This this was one of the first spooky moments you get in the game where you where fucking paranormal activity just starts happening. Where is it? Ah! It's a very ominous character. It looks like a ghost. The sheet design of ghosts, I actually think, is wrapped around in horror to being scary again. When I see a ghost that is represented as, like, a weird form hidden beneath a sheet, that actually is unsettling to me. I, and maybe it's just because I can't see their face. Or maybe it's because it strikes me as KKK imagery, and that's, I know that's a weird leap to take, but, you know, these things happen. Um, I don't know. The dude, uh, who made it wanted to be an ARG, but no one paid attention until, like, three years after he released it. Hey, Kanye Quest, yeah, this is really... Okay, well, that's interesting. I, that's, it's always weird when that happens, and, like, people get really excited about it later. Um... I've never been part of an active ARG before. I've never really looked into something that was still being, like, figured out. Like, a lot of the analog horror that people are into now is an ARG, but, like, it's topical and popular enough that, like, I... People figure it out before I even, like, get into it, I think. They did because no one caught up to the YouTube video where they explained it. They never did because no one caught up to the... Yeah. Weird. Weird. Uh, okay. And now, what do I do now? Uh, okay, so do I use that key? Is that what you want from me? Ah, welcome back, Kali-san. Didn't know you'd be joining us again, but I'm happy that you did. Thank you so much. Okay, so it wasn't the key I got over there. So the key I got over there is probably for doing this boat stuff. That was weird. So now the question is, how do I get back to the place now that the ladder's fallen? I think what I have to do is parkour my way up and fight my way through some shit, I think. Or I can just do it like this, yep. Okay, so I don't have the upgrade that makes it so I can, uh, jump around. Yeah, not at all. Okay. Oh, fuck off. I'm so dumb. Okay. Who hates the baby shark song? Uh, I don't hate it, but I definitely don't sing it a lot. <laughs> it's not really, uh, my taste of music. TBH. I'm more of a metal, alternative, rock, pretty much everything but Baby Shark, TBH. I'm getting really into, um, I got got really into bluegrass when I was researching for my uh, Dark Americana video, because bluegrass uh, sets the tone very well. Oh, I thought I'd already killed you guys, but that must have been uh, last time. How much can I stealth? This guy is fucking checked out of what's going on here. He does not care. Oh, now he goes. Okay. All right, there's the key that I needed to get into the mine. We're almost done, and I think after this level, I will, I will call it. Uh, not you didn't miss too much. Oh, wait, were, were you there when I was fucking dancing? I can't remember. It, it, Connor is not a baby shark. Do do do. Baby shark due to genre. I, I don't I don't unfortunately know what you're what you're trying to ask me there. Um, are you asking if if baby shark is a genre unto itself? 
Because I, I don't think I, I don't think so. But then again, who's to say? But anyway, uh, metal fan spot. What bands do you like? Um, my favorite uh, metal band is probably Mastodon. Love Mastodon. Uh, Gojira. I very much enjoy. Slipknot was a big start for me, but I don't listen to them as much anymore. Uh, and there's a couple bands that kind of like walk the line between hard rock and metal that I'm not sure. Uh, like I really like I Prevail a lot. Hailstorm is definitely like uh, 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 hard rock more than it is metal or anything. Um, I did a little bit of Cannibal Corpse. I like that uh, depending on the time, depending on the place. Baby Shark, do 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 do. Was just fading. Shock is not your genre music. Yeah, absolutely. Not not precisely my uh, my my interest. Damn! Took me three shots to hit a target that was not moving and on the ground. Eat fire, idiots! Ha! Ah! <laughs> Who remembers that "Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared" video? Oh yeah, for sure. "Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared" is classic. I I, I love "Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared." W weren't they gonna make a show about that at some point? Did that ever happen? I feel like I remember maybe game theory or I guess film theory talking about that. What is? Where am I? What's happening? What is this place? Honestly, I've been preserving ammo pretty well. Somehow. I can just use it. Oh, what the fuck? Did I get him? Yeah. Green is not a creative color. Bring me the horizon. Loathe. Cool. I, uh, I've, I've heard a little bit of Bring Me the Horizon. My uh, my buddy likes them. Um, I've not heard Loathe, though. So I got another thing to check out. Thank you very much. Favorite rock band is Death Caskets. Hate that not a lot of people know about them from what I've seen. Caskets, also. Okay, I will add that. I got a lot of lists of things that I need to, uh, to check out. So let me look at Caskets and Loathe. Skits and loathe. Ah, ah, no. Okay. So I got a little focus there, folks. Uh, don't hug me, I'm scared. Show happened. Oh, it did happen. Uh, where is that? Where can I where can I watch that? Is that just on YouTube or is that um, did that get like produced by like a major studio or something? Because I would definitely be interested in catching up on that and seeing. Am I going backwards? I think I'm going backwards. Uh, I would love to see how that ended up going because that sounds very fascinating to me. Where am I? It's too dark in here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Connor, give us a list tour. Uh, okay, uh, give me two seconds. I, I'll, I'll give a little list tour. It's mostly just horror stuff that I've been like getting recommended from the various subreddits that I check out and some of my YouTube comments. So let, let, let me take a look. So it's mostly horror stuff. I've got uh, a series called Black Summer, a game called Cordosis, uh, a series called Ekva, which I think I've seen before, but I need a reminder. Uh, Ganjim, Haunted Asylum, a movie. Harmony and Horror, a series on YouTube. Harrow County, which is apparently a comic. Headhunter, which is a book, which I have here, which I need to read. I read, I finished The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson yesterday, and a, a book that was super interesting called A Short Stay in Hell this morning. Um, Harrow County Headhunter, Hi, I'm Mary Mary. I saw that uh, a while ago, um, but I need to do it again. 
I Who Have Never... Oh, uh, Howard's Mill, a movie. I Who Have Never Known Men, a book. In a Glass Cage, the movie. Uh, Into the Unbeing, which is a comic. Last Days, which is a book. Mad God, which is a movie. It's like a claymation horror, which looks really cool. Madison is a game. Uh, Malum is the... It looks like it's a remake of the movie Last Shift. Like, fully the same plot, just with, like, maybe a bigger budget. Um, and I'm definitely interested in checking that out. Uh, Monstrilio, or potentially Monstrio, uh, which is a book. Mundon is a game. I've actually already started playing it, but I've gotten not that into it. Um, but it's interesting. I like it. Uh, no Through Road, which is a series. Uh, I actually did this one. The Creepypasta Normal Porn for Normal People. Probably, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word on a stream, but I did. Um, the Game Observer, which I feel like a lot of people know about. Our Share of the Night, Our Wives Under the Sea, both books. Uh, the Pen Pal Creepypasta, which is supposed to be good. Phantoms, which is a book. Possum, which is a horror movie. I've, I've seen a lot about it. I haven't seen it, though. Preacher's Daughter by Ethel, Ethel Kane. Uh, someone recommended that to me in a YouTube comment under my Americana video. Uh, Red X, uh, which is a book. Something is Killing the Children, which is a comic. Uh, Sudbury Devil, someone in my Discord uh, recommended to me, and I'm going to be checking that out soon. Suitable Flesh, which is a movie. Surreal Broadcast, which is a series. Uh, the Tales from the Gas Station Creepypasta, which I realize is a lot longer than I thought it was, so might get to that later. The Autopsy, which is a book. The Blackwell Ghost, which is a series. The Cypher. I have a book called The Cypher, which I've put in here twice, so clearly that's a recommendation that's important. The Dark and the Wicked movie. I, ne I need to read The Exorcist book. Uh, the Har, which I have right here again. David Sodergren. Uh -huh. The Hellbound Heart. Uh, the Institute, both books. The Lottery by Shirley Jackson. I just I want to reread because, you know, it's classic and well-liked. Uh, the Man in the Suit is a series. The Nice House on the Lake is a comic. The Sadness is like a super brutal slasher j-horror i think maybe a k-horror uh the showers a creepypasta the tangy virus which is a uh, uh a youtube series i believe the turn of the screw by henry james i think i read that a long time ago but uh the haunting of bly manor is based off of that story and i really liked hill house and i just wanted to see the inspiration behind that too um, Vita Carnis is a very well known analog horror series i believe walton files rewatch just because uh, I heard that it got an update recently, and I, uh, I want to know about that update, but I also want to just do the whole thing. We Have Always Lived in the Castle, another Shirley Jackson. When Evil Lurks, a movie, a series called Winter of 83, and uh, the recommendations that I got from you guys, Transfiguration, and the movie uh, Strobophagia, or Fagia, whatever it is. So, that's, that's the big list. That's, that's pretty much all of it. I don't think I skipped anything. Uh, I feel like we're almost done. Let's 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 finish this little bit of cultic. If anyone has more recommendations for me, though, absolutely feel free to give them to me. Where am I? Oh, 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 oh. oh shit! I actually remember this part. I don't think we're almost done. We've potentially got a little bit more challenge to get through, but uh, let's do it. We got the upgrades. Uh. Yeah, that was a thing. Who knows the Candyman game I played when I was a kid? I know the movie that they made off the Candyman game, which seems just like another play on Bloody Mary, pretty much. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this one, and we're going to do... We're actually just going to do more to the shotgun, I think. Oh, you can't. Oh, hold on. Um, yeah, we'll do this. Cool. So many good picks. There's some video topics hiding in there for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's mainly why I have this list now, just because, like, I appreciate having um, a lot to pull from if I don't have a, a, a video essay idea, but... So far, I'm feeling good about stuff. Uh-oh. What's going on over there? Hey. That's spooky. So, let's... This part's a little bit of a struggle. 
but we're gonna we're gonna get through it. Just one thing at a time. Here we go. Who missed FNAF? Missed as in wasn't there when it was getting hyped up, or miss it currently, like wish it was still as popular as it used to be. Because I was never that into it, like gaming wise, but lore wise, I found it kind of fun. Oh, we're getting new music. Ooh. Did I get him? Don't think so. Nice. Oh. Man, I am a fucking gamer when I try to be. Whoop. Ah, uh, missed. Okay. Man, this is not a great situation. I don't have, like, any healing. There's a lot of people. Oh! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's try it again. Man, I've been playing for, uh, for longer than I expected to be. But that's fine. But yeah, after this uh, level, it'll definitely be done for a while because I know this part takes a while anyway, so let's see if we can be better about this. Okay. There we go. Just gotta be careful here. Just gotta be the gamerest gamer who's ever gamed. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't kill that guy. He's literally right next to him. Okay. Bam. Bam. I missed. Bam. Okay. I didn't realize I had more bullets in this. Oh, that's probably... Huh. I've not taken this path before. I might just try to clear things out in a different path. Ow. Fuck off. Shotgun's pretty goddamn good in this game, not gonna lie. Ah, oh, motherfucker! Sorry. Oh shit, the soundtrack is hitting. It absolutely is. Damn. Uh, I'm not good at this. Uh... Wish it was live again. Uh, yeah, no, um... As for wishing FNAF was still around, I think it really did... I think it helped some horror, indie horror, but I also think it hurt a lot of indie horror, too. Because, like, the FNAF formula is very recreatable, and for, like, a while we were just kind of flooded with, like, sat-in-one-spot mascot horror. And I know that's good for some people, and, like, it's a good way to make videos and, like, get your content popular and whatnot, but I really do think that, like, FNAF did some things to what we think of, like, internet horror and, and kind of... Oh, that's a, that's how you want that to go. Okay. Um, kind of made things a little bit lamer for people who were trying to, like, creatively pop off in that time because, like, really, you were guaranteed success if you were doing... FNAF style development, but otherwise, like, there was just not a lot going on at that time. You got, you know, Bendy, Hello Neighbor, and, like, all these things start appearing that, like, I didn't really ask for. I liked Bendy enough. I did not like Hello Neighbor. Um, and I didn't even play Bendy. I watched, like, GT Live play it. Oh, jeez. Eat fire, idiot! Including me? Including me? Okay. Uh, uh, this is not a good spot. Um, Hello, die, okay. Need healing. I need healing! Uh, I, I used to play Overwatch, and I would almost exclusively play as Mercy, because I was never good enough at combat to, like, justify not being support, and that Living Tombstone song scared me. Shoulda picked Mercy! Shoulda picked any kind of support! We ended up losing, and you got all my bits, I would I know? I was uh, one of those little living tombstone freaks growing up. Discord, you know. 
And I mean the song, not the the uh, the social media app, communication app. Um, my trigger path. How I ended up making my go-to playstyle breaking games rather than playing. Yeah. <laughs> How can I join your Discord, by the way? Um, you can join the Discord by becoming a member of the channel. You'll get a link um, with your channel membership. Uh, yeah, and it's it's just that easy. I don't think it's that expensive, so I really appreciate it. Uh, I don't have many suggestions at the moment, but I um, but I recommend Bug Murders by Ghost Tundra. Is that a creepy pasta or is that like a video? What are we? What are? What am I looking at there? Oh, there's the first aid in here. Oh, right. Okay. Bum 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 bum. Um. One, one video, by the way, that, you know, you're breaking game rather than playing. Uh, one video that, that always, like, really strikes me is, like, wow, I never thought about it that way, is watching RT games um, playing Dark or playing dark Souls. Uh, what's it called? Beating Dark Souls by completely stupid means. It's a, it's a really great video. Because he, like, goes to, um, Ash Lake, like, immediately in his run. And it's like, who in the world does that? And he gets, like, all the dragon shit immediately. It's really interesting. Really interesting. Uh, in the next video, can you please watch bird memes? It's so funny. I don't know if that exactly vibes with the content I put across, but I tell you what. In the next stream I do, I, I will try to figure out a way to make it so people can more easily give me, like, video recommendations. That might only be a Twitch thing, but, uh, we can totally try it. Okay, Bug Murders by Ghost Tundra. It's a YouTube show. Let's try it out. Let's let's put it on the list. Bug Murders series. Cool. Love it. I love new Rex. We're almost out of here. We're almost done with this level. Back off. I'm pretty sure if I die here, I go all the way back to the beginning, and I don't want to. Not like the beginning of the level, but the beginning of this little area. No, 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 that's okay. Okay. I'm just going to do some little peeks, try to, to, to rack up some headshots. Ah! God, peeking does not work well for me. Okay, there we go. There's one. Who else? God, they, they do blend, the sprites blend a little bit into the environment. Oh, someone's throwing uh, dynamite up there, and they might have just killed themselves, though. So. Yep. Love that. If you're designing a game that has AI, you should absolutely make it so friendly fire is on for AI. You know? And also, if, you have, if you're designing a game where there's friendly fire between players, and friendly fire is not between enemies, you're creating a bad game. You should, they, that should have, they should both be there. They made another series called Lacey Games. You might know it, but it got so big it's low-key overshadowing their other work, which makes me sad because all their content is so good. I'm not super familiar. I'm not familiar with Lacey Games either, but I'm excited to see what those things are all about. I'm looking forward to it. Bam! Okay. And I think actually, if I remember correctly, oh wait, hold on. I don't. I think I did it wrong. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. You watch Hell of a Boss. I do watch Hell of a Boss. I don't. If they've cre uh, released more recently, I haven't seen it, but. I watched uh, all that was available, you know, maybe a year or two ago, and I thought it was pretty interesting and fun. I, I watched a lot of uh, Brandon Rogers. Oh shit! No, 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 no! I watched um, a good ama amount of Brandon Rogers stuff growing up, uh, and I kind of fell out of it when I started growing older because I didn't, you know, he he can at times be uh, a little much, um, but I thought Hell of a Boss was interesting. And I do like adult animation that is clever and creative, which not all of it tends to be, but I think that there is some, some good humor in that show and some clever character choicing. And the good thing is I'm not a furry, so I don't like really need to defend myself when I watch that show, uh, because I know that that wolf character gets everyone very hot and bothered. And so... <laughs> 
Uh, is her name Luna? That makes sense. It's like a werewolf kind of character, so. Where am I trying to get to? Is it up there? Or is that where I came from? No, what's happening? I don't, I don't want to die right now. I desperately. Ah! Wow, that was not smart, but it worked out. Okay. Nice. Oh, oh, I see what happened. Okay, well, whatever. Do you watch out the boss? Bum, oop. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. No! <laughs> I'm so nervous now. This, I'm turning this more and more into a horror game. Sometimes, dude, any game can be a horror game if you get into it enough. I played Fortnite once, like, very high. Don't don't tell my parents. It's okay, they know. Um, I played Fortnite once very high, and I was just, like, walking around the house, being stealthy, trying not to notice or get noticed by the people who were in there. And I had, like, three encounters where someone just suddenly walked through the door, and every time I was like, ah! It becomes... It's just about creating an atmosphere more than anything. That's that's good horror atmosphere. Don't kill me! Don't kill no no. God. Okay. I need to. S the explosives are dangerous. Drop your shield. Oh, armor broken. It says that. Or is it... Was that for me? Oh. Not still there. Out of bullets? Come on. Okay. I feel like we're so close, guys. We almost did it. We're almost out of the woods. And into the next level, which ironically I think is the woods. Um, <laughs> let's do it. So we're almost there. This game is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun when you're not fully paying attention to it, but also when you are, you know. Okay, so I think I came through there, and then, yeah, and then this is where they wanted me to get to. I just can't remember if anyone's, like, going to ambush me or something. More explosives. Definitely shit going on there. Ow! Oh, it's the barbed wire. I was like, what the fuck? Is this it? Did we make it? Yeah! We did it! How many people did we kill? Oh, we missed one person! Wow. Okay. Cool. All right. I think that's going to do it for, for today. Uh, we're we're going to go ahead and, and end the stream there with uh, having played those first two levels because that was a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah. So, here's my desktop. Um, thank you uh, all f so much for joining me today. I had a lot of fun. I, I, I think I'll, I'll try to keep doing this in the future. And if... Uh, if I can, I'll work out some audio uh, stuff to make things better in the future. Um, but yeah, if you watched this live and you communicated with me and, and you chatted, I hope you had fun. It was a lot of fun for me. Uh, sorry, guys, I really appreciate that you're sad about about me leaving. But um, I'll definitely do this more in the future if I can. And uh, uh, if you were here communicating with me during the stream, thank you so much. I had a lot of fun talking to you guys. If you watched this video after and you had fun with it there, um, great. I'm glad you did that. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so